Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So this is a very special video to me and I will explain later on in the video. But today's video, I'm going to be doing kind of a tool-based video. And so this video, I'm going to be introducing you guys to some new brushes, kind of experiencing them with you, talking about my opinions on cheap versus expensive brushes. You guys have been asking me to talk about brushes and my opinion, a whole video about brushes can be kind of blah. So I am also trying out some newer products to me as well just to keep it interesting but in today's video we're going to be talking mostly about the Wayne Goss eye brush set that I had the luxury of using and also the new eSIM brushes that came out so if you're interested in this topic then just keep watching all right so it is a snowy day here in Maryland, so I get to stay in, drink hot chocolate, and make videos. So foundation, I'm using the Flower Beauty Light Illusions. This is such a lovely, glowy foundation. I've used this one before. This isn't new to me, but if you are into glowy skin or you have dry skin, I would suggest giving this guy a go. Now for foundation, I always use a sponge. That's my favorite. So I've gotten a lot of questions about the sponge that I've been using lately, which is because it's giant. This is the Real Techniques Miracle Face and Body Sponge. So it's so big because you're supposed to use it for the body. But honestly, this really gets the foundation blended out. Originally, I started using it just because I threw out my old normal Real Techniques sponge and this was all I had. But I've actually enjoyed it that I picked up another one. And I, it says it has a new look, but this is the Miracle Face and Body Sponge. If you're interested, just because I feel like it looks so silly when I pull it out on camera that some of you guys just have to comment. So I did want to give a little spiel on that and by the way I will link it down below and everything I'm using in this video in the description box for you to check out if you are interested but yeah I really like body sponge it's awesome I'm also trying out a new concealer this is the ColourPop no filter I have mine in the shade light 12 this is definitely too light for me I prefer something a little bit more close to my skin tone for concealer but this was all they had at my Ulta and I really wanted to try the formula and even though the sponge is giant it just works if you are using a concealer that is really light i find that it looks a lot more natural when you put it on more parts of your face than just your under eyes because if it's just your under eyes that is really light you're gonna look a little crazy so if you are using a really light concealer it does make it look a lot better if you put some kind of at the center of your forehead a little bit on your nose it's just keeping it in the center of your face really and the chin as well the concealer's not looking that bad by the right. way so now we're gonna get into powdering the face i'm just using my mac patrick star powder and now we get to get into the brushes so i'm going to use the Esum x51 brush and i'm going to use this to powder my face this isn't a new Esum brush this was already in their line so for those of you who haven't heard about Esum before they they are a brush collection or brush line. They're available on Muse Beauty Pro and you guys know I love Muse Beauty Pro. Honestly, they're just like a really great brush line. They are a little bit more on the pricey side. Lately, I've gotten into more pricey brushes just because I hate saying this, but like I'm a makeup artist, but my point is I'm constantly having to wash brushes over and over again. And so I've really learned that brushes need to pass the test of time because I'm just washing brushes all the time. I can't really get cheap ones that are gonna break or where the ferrule's going to come loose. I've really recently gotten into trying a little bit more expensive brushes just because the longevity of them is so important for me and my clients. And the Esum brush line is really awesome. So I believe they're available exclusively on Muse Beauty Bro. Honestly, like genuinely a really good brush line. I do have a couple other brushes from them that are really nice. So if you're looking into getting into a better quality brush line, look into Esum. Anyways, I'm just using the X51 brush from them. It's just like a big powder brush and I'm just gonna set my face, especially the concealer. That's the most important part to set. In case you're wondering, the brushes I'm using today from Esum, they are made of goat hair. They're really soft. I did notice a little bit of shedding in the bigger brushes after washing. Don't even worry too much about the shedding because after like the first wash, you're good. And they're really, really soft. So by the way, this is just like a really good size brush for powdering the face. And then also I'm still gonna use just this large powder brush and I'm gonna use my Tom Ford fantastic bronzer and I'm just gonna kind of warm up my face again this is a really good size if you're just trying to bronze the face 
Obviously, this isn't for sculpting. This is a really good big old bronzer brush. And you guys know I love the Tom Ford bronzer. All right, so we are moving on to the Esum X52 brush. So basically, this brush was inspired by the big powder brush I just used. It was just a smaller version that they made. This is one of the newest releases from Esum. This is $49. Even though this is one of the new brushes, these are available online to order right now. They're gonna ship on Valentine's Day. And this is a really good size to use for many things on your face. When I was trying to brainstorm some things I could use it for, you can use it to sculpt, you can use it to bronze. I just like a little bit of a bigger brush to bronze. I'm gonna use it today to blush and highlight. So I did pick up the new Jouer Bouquet D'Amour, I don't know, blush palette. Look how gorgeous this is though. When I saw this coming out, I had to get it. I think we're gonna go for a more Valentine's-y look today. I'm just gonna go for this color right here, Know Me. I used this blush palette once yesterday and I loved it so and this brush is really good for picking up powder products that just applied the perfect shape on my cheeks as well oh and this blush by the way is gorgeous this is a beautiful formula I've never tried Jouer blushes before but this is like the most beautiful spring blush and then I am going to apply a highlight with this brush as well I'm just trying to get a general glow so I'm not too worried about having a big brush this is the luminizers quad from the balm that I just picked up from Riley Rose if the haul's not up yet it will be soon and we're gonna dip into the Mary luminizer and I'm just gonna kind of put it on the top of my cheek so, I mean, this brush isn't really that good for a highlight brush if you like more of a direct application. But lately, I've been liking using softer highlights to put on more of a bigger surface area to really make your skin look like it's glowing. It's just much more natural that way. So, this new X52 brush, I'm really liking the shape of it. I find it to be a very versatile brush, and it's, like, super soft. Kind of expensive, $49, but this is, like, a very versatile brush, and it's gonna last forever. Ever. A lot of people love using the ColourPop concealer as an eyeshadow base, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Side note though, it is kind of creasing on my under eyes, which isn't looking too hot right now. Now I get to get into the Wayne Goss eye brush set. This is very special to me because one of my subscribers, Caroline, she actually gifted this to me. I would like to take a minute to thank her and thank all of you guys because I cannot believe somebody was so kind and so generous and wanted me to experience these Wayne Goss brushes, so she sent them my way. I can't believe that somebody would be so kind to send these to me, so I did, <laughs> I did want to take a second to thank Caroline, and just thank you guys, because you guys are so sweet, and I just, through YouTube, I've met just the sweetest, kindest people, so thank you so much. Thank you, Caroline. All right, I don't want to bore you and talk about this too long, but thank you so much. So these, I've gotten the chance to use multiple times. I wanted to wash them and keep them fresh for this video, but when you get these definitely wash them because they'll poof out a lot more these are fabulous so the Wayne Goss number 16 brush this actually could be used for a more pinpointed highlight I'm not gonna use that today I'm just gonna use it for an all-over crease color so I'm using the violet Voss holy grail palette I've only used this once before and I do want to get a feel for the formula but I'm gonna stick it down here because since Valentine's Day is coming up we're gonna kind of stick to that theme there. I mean, this isn't too much about the palette, so I'm just really quickly gonna use Bestie. And these Wayne Goss brushes are just so unbelievably soft. The eye set is really great if you're into blending brushes because they come with a lot of different blending brushes. I could have a million and one blending brushes and I'll still feel like I just don't have enough blending brushes because I'm constantly switching to different ones. You don't wanna mix colors. You need all these different sizes to add more definition to the eye. This is a really good transition starter brush. All right, so now I'm going to go back to an Esum brush. This is the G34. This is a domed shadow blending brush. It is $36. This again was inspired from a smaller brush, which I'll show you in a second. But again, goat hair, great for powder products, really soft, really good sturdy handle. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of brownie points and we're going to add a little bit of definition, but use a light hand. I don't want it to be too dark. So that G34 was inspired by the S33 brush, which is kind of just like a smaller version of it. And we're gonna start going into Wine and Dine down here, which is that deep red. And this is what's gonna make it kind of more Valentine's-y. Ooh, kind of blend it in. 
to the inner corner as well. Wow, that's pigmented. Okay, Violet Voss. I've heard mixed reviews about Violet Voss. This color is fantastic. Okay, I did not expect this color to spread with so much ease and be so pigmented that now all of a sudden my look is super unnatural. So I'm going to take a clean blending brush. So this is the Wayne Goss 17. You see how many different blending brushes you should be using? And I'm going to use that to kind of blend out the edges. This is also a great general crease brush for an everyday look. But since this set comes with so many different blending brushes, it's just so convenient to use to blend out without color on the brush. Also, what's awesome about the Wayne Goss brush set is they come with really tiny kind of blender brushes, which allow you to create really detailed looks. But I am going to go into that wine and dine color with the number 19, and I'm going to run that along my lower lash line. <laughs> I was not expecting to get a crazy look like this today. So this is one of my favorite brushes from the Wayne Goss set. This is the number 20 brush, which is a really lovely, tiny blending brush. And I'm going to go into Teddy Bear, which is the darkest shade in this palette. And I'm going to keep it really close in this outer corner. And I'm just doing this to add some definition to the look. This brush is super good for really getting in there, you know? So now we're going to go into the shade So Jelly right here, and I'm just going to use my finger. I'm just going to pop that right in the center of the lid. So, so far, based on the two times that I've used the Violet Voss shadow palette, by the way, I'm impressed by their mattes. I don't think their shimmers are all to write home about, to be honest. This is really pretty. What a Valentine's -y look, man. And then I'm going to go back in this Wayne Goss brush, the number 19, and we're going to blend that. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do liner lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so totally didn't expect the makeup to go in this direction. But if you watched my Jeffree Star mystery box unboxing, I was really worried about this hot pink lipstick in Jeffree's Girl. So what better time to put it on than now? All right, so stick around. The video is not over. I'm just going to talk about products I use, my opinions. So we're gonna start with the brushes. Like I said, Isam just came out with their X52 and the G32. Four. In general, I would say just look into the Esam line because if you're looking for good quality brushes, <laughs> these are really good. But my favorite brushes from Esam that I used in this video today, I love the X51 as an Oliver powder brush and bronzer brush. It's just the perfect size. And then the X52 I thought was really good because it applied the blush in the most perfect shape, the most perfect surface area, and it really applied the highlighter very good as well. These are very soft, so loved the the X51 and the X52. Of course, the Wayne Goss brush set was phenomenal. I would totally recommend this whole set to you guys. Blending brushes are so important for really creating a very dimensional look so your colors don't get muddy on your eyes. It's very important to have a lot of different blending brushes. So this is honestly the perfect set. You get blending brushes of all different sizes. So thank you so much, Caroline of you i need to pick up more i want to try sonia g now but in particular my favorite brushes i think was the 20 by wayne goss and i also thought the 17 is also the perfect blending brush size so that's my little spiel on the brushes and don't forget to pick up the real techniques body sponge it really just spreads that foundation out let me tell you <laughs> product wise i was very pleasantly surprised by the violet voss holy grail shadow I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about Violet Voss, but I was very impressed with how the matte shadows applied. I still want to play around with the shimmers. I wasn't too crazy impressed with those, but oh my gosh, this Wine and Dine shade, amazing. Really impressed by that. Also very impressed by the Jouer Boutique D'Amour. I'm probably saying that wrong. But this blush palette, it's a lot more pink than I thought it was going to be when I opened it, but oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. The formula is beautiful. I used this shade yesterday. I use this shade today, so I have a few more shades to try out, but whew, this is the perfect spring blush palette, and I'm loving the formula, so thumbs up to this. But if you're interested on anything I'm wearing, if you're interested on any of the brushes I mentioned, they will be linked in the description box, so you can go through there to pick up anything I mentioned in this video that you're interested in or just to check out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you found it helpful. I hope you enjoyed the fact that I talked a little bit more about the tools I was using, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a great day.